they live in the darkness. They don't know how to help themselves, uh, to how to raise children, how to protect disease. The Cambodian people have really suffered greatly as a result of the Khmer Rouge genocide. Following that, the country was occupied by Vietnam and uh, the infrastructure was destroyed. People with education were killed uh, and it has taken literally decades to rebuild this country. Ten years ago, there was 50% malnutrition. Babies were skinny, often um, orangey care from malnutrition, and that was the normal baby you saw in Cambodia. Being financially poor, and on top of that spiritually poor, leads to hopelessness, and that's why we want to bring them a hope in Christ. The presence of the church is, is very small right now, like a seed, but yet, we feel privileged that we have an opportunity to help that seed grow and see the church be established in, in all of its glory, and all of its beauty, in a way that's really transforming communities and changing people's lives. What we need God's people to do is to have a greater awareness and understanding of how the rest of the world lives and the challenges that they face. Because I firmly believe that as people come to understand the real needs of people, that their hearts will be changed and they will come to understand what it really means to be the hands and feet of Christ through prayer, through their giving, um, and through their presence uh, alongside their Cambodian brothers and sisters.